Hello everybody and welcome back to the City Skylines traffic tutorial, fixing traffic with various mods. And um, we're sort of at one last little issue here. And I'm sort of needing, I feel like we kind of need to study it for a second to figure this out. If we go to um, traffic flow, we're at 81%, which is quite a bit higher than the... Uh, now 80, it's bouncing between 80 and 82, and I think at one point we're at like 80 or so. So, burnt down, huh? So really, this is this is the one last issue that we got going on here. So we have these cars just swinging in front of these cars. You would think that this would be the, the people that would be going fast and these people would be going, you know, a little bit more cautiously, but eh. Okay, what's going on here? I mean, there's, there's just general, in general, there's poor lane usage here. But that's because technically it is, you know, these people are going, these people, or everyone in this lane is trying to get to this part of the city. Everyone in this lane. Oh, wait a second. You guys are being allowed. You guys are allowed to go there, right? All right. Just, let's let's double check this here, because I don't. I think this lane might have been able to do double duty, and we might be able to get more people into the uh, the outside lane at least by just saying no, the, the outside lane is just this one lane. The only tricky thing here is now, these cars now need to swing all the way to the left, the outside lane, if they want to go to the outside lane. Which means they're trying to just leave town this way. It's kind of fixing itself. 83%. It's kind of fixing itself. Oh, uh, what? Okay, well, we've seen this a thousand times before, guys. You, you'll notice there's, like, traffic problems. There's trends. There's many, many, many trends. This one, these cars are, are stopping because they don't think there's room for them in the intersection. And again, if there was actually traffic issues here, then, you know, just letting them flow through the, tr the intersection would be a problem. But we just cleaned up a backup just by letting them go, because they weren't even driving. They were just stopping. So yeah, these cars are just coming to a standstill. It's like it almost makes you want to put a yield on. You know what I mean? It almost makes us want to put a yield here. Oh, I know a quick, a quick, easy fix here. Let's let's maybe this one we uh, we adjust the clover a bit. There we go. That's gonna be a quick fix. Oh no 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 no. There's absolutely no reason, none whatsoever. There's literally no reason whatsoever that you guys have to immediately get into that lane. So this is just, I guess this, this is adjusting the vanilla clover field is what we're doing right now. We're not going to uh, replace it or anything like that. It should be totally adequate for this level of traffic. It should be completely adequate. Why are we getting so many cars coming this way all of a sudden? Okay, come on. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Kind of failing over here. Now, unfortunately, here we probably need this to be a, a mess, right? We need these people to be able to swing out.
because all of these lanes go to very particular areas. Although I like the idea of doing what we did on the other side and just forcing that as a turn only. Now the sims are going to have to pre-plan for that. And it does mean that, again, these sims here are going to be cutting across traffic to do that. But it's not ideal, but uh, I think it's going to be okay. There shouldn't be... If this gets flowing, there shouldn't really be... set. What the heck is going on? Temporary traffic, maybe? Again, when we remember, if we fix all the traffic here, now we have all this gridlock that's flowing. That's going to be more stress in our downstream area. See, it's weird how it was a huge backup, and now everything's fine. These people need a little bit more priority, but it's it's actually kind of working itself out here. One thing I'm noticing is if you look at how much city is here and how much city is here, well, then again, I guess a lot of the people come up here. Hmm. I'm just looking at this lane here, and I'm just kind of wondering, do we let this lane also turn left? Do we just paint this a little bit smarter? No one's wanting to go right anyway, so we could give it a little bit more responsibility there. That, I think, is a better painting. Sometimes you just got to go in and paint. You don't have to do anything dramatic. We are we are really bouncing around with the, uh, with the traffic flow here. I'm not sure why. I think it really, uh, there's sort of a ripple effect from, you know, doing this. I think we're just really pushing a lot of cars through. And it's putting a stress on uh, now we have to go, go reevaluate our sort of our initial, um, to, you know, our initial uh, features that we put in. But as far as I can tell, I think regardless of what the game says here, 84 percent. I believe the scenario technically, is there a way to even review what we're doing for the scenario? I don't, I don't get it. Do we fail it already? Pretty sure 85 is the goal of the scenario. Does this tell us anything? I usually don't look at the chirper. Scenario, scenario. We're working on a scenario. Hello. Goals. Okay. Never done a scenario before. All right. So we need a population of... 35,000. Oh, only 82% flow. Okay, cool. I mean, should we just finish the scenario just for the fun of it? Just for the fun of it. Ironically, we're getting a lot of flow through here. I think what we want to do, this is a, is a really good system here. I think we do need to reduce the speed limit here. The traffic that we want going from here to here, I want it to literally be traffic from here going to here. I don't want people coming this way to get through to here. That is what I think is going on. So we do need to come in and cut the speed limit here quite a bit. This should discourage cars from going this way. They should calculate that this is going to be much faster. Oh, much faster. Much faster. Heck, I mean, if we really wanted to, we could push this to 110. In these stretches here. Really get them to prioritize that. This this is just actually kind of silly there, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, let's... Uh, so I think we could put more here without affecting things too much. And I think we also probably want to... I don't know if we really want to be zoning more out this way. But I think we can handle more traffic in this area. We've done a lot of really good work down here. Let's go just to some normal. It's our favorite roads here. I'm just doing this just purely. This is just bring me more traffic. Bring me more population. That's all we're doing right now. It's more traffic, more population. Not beautifying the city at all. Do we even have a university in this city? Oh, there's people that are graduated, so 
Actually, yeah, there is a university. I don't know if this is going to be enough to get the uh, population up to the goal. And let's also go up here and sort of create like a... You know, I'm just kind of doing a big blob here. I'm not too worried about this. It, again, this... Whew, we're going to get some traffic in here. Especially if we put commercial here too. Whew. Gonna be bad. Gonna be bad, but we are gonna need to put down some commercial. Doesn't need to be high dense though. This is kind of just the wrap up, right? We've hit the 82% traffic flow. The goal wasn't of the tutorial series, obviously, wasn't just to. To complete the scenario we could have probably done that more efficiently it was to actually demo all of the different tools to actually use to apply every single mod the four mods right traffic manager mod network extensions um fine road tools with fine road anarchy and move it the four mods that basically can fix any any traffic issue like i mean we were seeing the most gnarly of traffic issues right we have fixed every traffic issue. We got, we're about to hit the 85% stretch goal. 85% is pretty dang good. Especially when you consider the zoning in the city is so bonkers. You don't want to put commercial... Like, I like to put my commercial by the freeway. I also like to put my industry by the freeway. You know, residential can be out in the boondocks. It doesn't matter. So can offices. There's not a lot of traffic for those. But... Um, and then also no but we don't have any public transportation guys yeah we have no public transportation so this city is dis disproportionately heavy on traffic i just want to see it tick to 85. there's not i'm not seeing traffic anywhere guys i'm not seeing traffic anywhere now it's not going to go to 85 because we are zoning right we're doing some mass zoning I mean, there's a little bits and bobs here, but I mean, do, you, do we call this? Is this traffic? Is this traffic? Does this look like red to you? No. No, game. The problem is the game doesn't update quick enough. Like, like is this traffic? No. So the game, this 84% is just based on how much red is on the map, right? It's literally just calculating the redness of the roads. Simple as that. But because the game isn't very good at updating the redness of the roads then this number is actually not a useful number. It, okay, it's a useful number just to see at a glance. Obviously, if it's 55%, something's wrong. And if it's at 84%, then things are going really, really, really well. Anything above 80% is pretty dang well because there's so many false positives, right? This is a false positive for traffic. There's no traffic here. It's a timed light. It's a timed light. Of course, they're going to wait. Our population, though, is not quite growing. The other alternative way we could actually get the population to go up would be to level up these homes. Increase the land value. I believe we haven't actually built any parks or anything, have we? I'm kind of tempted to actually do them on side roads. So that we don't actually dezone the... Uh, the initial stuff but let's just get just like a bunch of parks in here let's be silly with it i'm just gonna see if we can cross the finish line here on this uh scenario make it official why did we need traffic lights there i wonder or uh sorry power lines What's that all about Dead end, com dead end high density commercial. Come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> Look at the stuff we had to deal with with this scenario. We solved insane traffic issues. Like, you will never experience traffic issues like that just playing the game with with a little bit of, like, city planning. You know what I mean? Just a basic, basic city planning. I mean, we're dead ending high density commercial far away from the industry, far away from the freeway system. Of course we're going to have issues. Of course we're going to have issues, which, of course, we've sort of done up here, too, but that's fine. So 
So we need, I'm just trying to raise the land value, get these houses leveled up a bit. And, and by doing that, we might be able to uh, push our pop, get more influx of uh, traffic into the city and push our pop out a little bit more. Getting some places to build the parks. Lots of parks. Lots of parks for lots of people. Hopefully all these areas should be leveling up. Yeah, these are just smash some people. Should be seeing some of these areas leveling up at this point. We're hearing the little chimes every once in a while. Okay, but the land value here is, is not good. That's the truth. Losing a little bit of pop because... Part of it is noise pollution too. This has just been built in such a screwy way. I'm trying to see where I can quickly build some uh, commercial to kind of get that satisfied. And of course, this is. Close your eyes, people. You know what? Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe getting the actual scenario to complete. It would have been cool if we could have just quickly tripped over that line, but maybe it's completely unnecessary. It is completely unnecessary. We have solved the traffic issues. Everything is working fantastically. Um, okay. If we go back to the traffic here, because we're going to have to get to 35,000 pop. I'm just not. Yeah, okay, let's go up to speed five, actually. Still at 84% flow. Yeah, we're getting, we're growing now. We're growing now. But not at the rate that I would hope. To actually push to the end of the scenario. But look at the traffic though, 82%. Let's uh, get out of the zoning here. Let's go on high speed here, look at the traffic. And don't get me wrong, there's a lot of uh, a lot of flow here. Do we need them to adjust lanes here? We need them to adjust lanes there or not. To be honest guys, it's flowing. This is flowing. It's busy, but it's flowing. And remember, we got a lot of people moving, a lot of people moving into town right now. Yeah, we're not, we're not going to worry about the, uh, the scenario here, guys. Growing the city to 35,000. Thank you so much, everybody. For the most part, we can see that uh, traffic has been solved. And even with that intense zoning, we can at least see how uh, we can, we're putting stress under our interchanges here by doing this intense zoning. So all these areas need to get people, families need to move into here. They have to literally drive into here. We need to get um, goods to the commercial and we need to, people need to now go to work over here because we have offices. So, so we are really stressing our system and we're still at 83%. It's, I mean, it's holding 
dips down to 82, but it's really holding at 83, 84%. So thank you so much, everybody, for watching this tutorial series on traffic. And I think for the most part, I think we've covered everything. I mean, every situation, every city is a unique challenge, right? And every traffic situation is a unique challenge. That's what's so cool um, about traffic and about sim, like city style, sim city style city builders is because they're just always interesting problem solving, just like in real life. You know, I remember reading an article that talked about interchanges as diverse. Um, the title was something about like, you know, just uh, how diverse interchanges are because they're as diverse as the problems they solve. That's what it was. Interchanges are as diverse as the problems they solve. So, you know, like an interchange in many cases needs to be a unique to its to its own problems. So or its own issues or its own traffic or whatever. So it's always a it's always a battle, but I think here we've we've gone through the four different kinds of mods. We've we've looked at traffic manager mod intent we've used every aspect of traffic manager mod. You know, we've switched on traffic lights. We've done time traffic lights. We've done junction restrictions. We've done speed limits. We've turned off parking. We haven't done, uh, admittedly, we haven't done vehicle restrictions. We talked about that in the preliminary. And we haven't really done much with the priority science. But the, for the most part, we've been leveraging so many different aspects of traffic manager mod. I mean, look at, look at this traffic flow right now, guys. Look at this. This is insanity. 84%. Ah, it's just crazy. Just crazy. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys in the next one. I think in the future, uh, the next City Skylines content that can be expected on this channel is probably just going to be a city. We're probably just going to be doing a Let's Play and just building the city from scratch and seeing how that goes. So we do have a actual, just a beginner. This is more for people that are familiar with City Skylines, right? That want a tutorial on traffic specifically. There is a beginner playthrough just for complete beginners, but that shouldn't be relevant for anyone watching this now. Um, we're going to start just a new city. It's probably going to be with mods. We might even be trying to highlight um, some other interesting mods like realistic population and other things like that. So it would be a modded playthrough and we could talk about some of the other mods that are non, not related to fixing traffic or building things, right? That are more just sort of overhaul or conversion mods. So there's so many things to explore with this game. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one.